Hello, my name is Ulster and welcome back to a season recap for you. This is Marvel, The Defenders. Uh, yeah, I didn't really want to do a, a binge episode because uh, I knew it was kind of old. I mean, like, it came out on the 18th of August and I didn't really know. I, I just found, I, like, I found out about it when uh, Netflix kind of, you know, promoted it. And like I was like, oh okay, uh, it's up already. Uh, and I was like, should I do a reaction of it? And I was like, I, I don't feel like it because like it's it's 15 minutes as well. And I was like, I'm I'm not gonna really do um, a binge episode where I have to edit. Uh, stuff down uh, so I decided not to and uh, seeing as how some of you don't really like those binge episodes I decided not to do it anyway uh, so you're not really gonna see any more binge episodes or if you if you do it's gonna be the binge episodes but it's not gonna be like one shot it's gonna be like one per week or something like that so that I can keep my schedule to at least like uh, two videos per week um, so yes, uh, there's obviously going to be spoilers in this, so if you haven't watched uh, The Defenders, please click out now, I'm telling you now so that you guys don't go, oh, but you didn't say spoilers, I'm like, dude, it's a season recap, what, what, what do you expect, like, me not to give any more spoilers, no, like, this is your chance, go, get out, just watch the thing yourself, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, I, I didn't really want to do it because I'm just like, I think a lot of people have already covered it, so it doesn't make sense for me to do it again. Um, so I, I just wanted to do a review of it anyway. I just want to say, yes, okay, is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? So I just wanted to uh, see and judge it on my own. And, uh,. It was all right. Um, the 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 memes, not nah, nah, you know, Facebook doesn't really cover the the defenders until I watched it. I just so I was like, right after I watched it, the memes started to come, and I'm like, okay, the the memes were kind in this one, but not not for Game of Thrones. If you wanna start Game of Thrones, I think you. I mean, you could catch up practically um, by the memes itself. I'm sorry, I have lizards in my house. So, anyway, um. I think for me, Iron Fist was very meh. Like if you if you did watch Iron Fist, I I, I feel so happy for you because I I couldn't bear it. I mean like I watched the first episode and then the last episode and it was enough. I mean like I I don't really remember much from uh, uh, Iron Fist. Heck, I don't really remember much from uh, Jessica Jones because it's been such a long time as well. Uh, that that's the problem with uh, not having a second season for Jessica. Um, and uh, Luke Cage was very average for me. Maybe I don't you know relate to that. And I, for me, uh, Luke Cage personally, I didn't really like it because like there was two villains in this, and I thought just one would have been fine. Um, and yes, it was gonna be the generic like guy in the suit and all like <laughs> I'm better than you kind of thing. But uh, I I, I would have still taken it and like that but like Mahersha Ali's character was really good so I'm just like why didn't they stop using him I guess you know he had other films to think about maybe he was doing like the moonlight and everything maybe uh, I still I still remember Daredevil the most because th that was a really good show uh, Jessica Jones I remember more of because I'm just like yeah who, who was in that uh, yeah that was Hogarth and the uh, uh, Trish and uh, uh, Kilgrave, I remember that. Uh, and then you know the the thing about it is when you, when you do these kind of like integration stories, you 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 kind of need the the like little cogs to make the grind the the gears go. And for me, those little cogs were uh, Colleen and uh, Claire because they didn't really do much to add to the story, whatever. Uh, but there, there was like a s super small side plot with the uh, with Colleen and uh, her former master, as was from Iron Fist. Um, and also, you know, Claire didn't really do much because you know didn't do much as in you know she was. 
the medic, you know, she was the, the tough one, the, the running her mouth kind of girl, you know, in all of those series. But in this one, she didn't really do much because she was just more of the, hey, I know this other person too. Sorry, my, my stomach has a problem, uh, so I'm burping a lot. I have a lot of gas. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah. So, you know, she's like, I know this other superhuman meta slash meta uh, to Luke Cage and, uh, you know, Iron Fist and Daredevil. But of course, uh, Jessica Jones is not included in there. She's somewhat included in there, but they, they, they never really had the interaction um, that we, we would have had. Um, and I think that's such a shame. Um, I'm very indifferent about the, the character of Iron Fist. I think that, you know, that Danny Rand is kind of bland. Uh, maybe because it's, it's the actor. I don't know what kind of script it was given. Maybe it's from the comics. I don't know. I never read the comics to Iron Fist. So I, I don't really have the, the area to judge, um, you know. Uh, his, his Chinese is kind of spot on, but uh, the Chinese that they use are, you know, the the, the, China, the mainland China uses a different kind of like accent. So for me, it was, it's, it's, it's more different. Here we use uh, like different accents. I think we are more simplified. Um, so yeah, it's, it's weird uh, hearing him uh, uh, speak Chinese again. Um, Luke Cage was okay, you know, it, it didn't take away much, it didn't bring much as well, you know, he was kind of just a middle ground kind of guy to try to bring us back. Jessica Jones, man, she is trying her best, you know, I was like, yes, uh, get in there, you know, get as much screen time as, as you can, because she didn't get a second season, and I know Luke Cage as well, and um, Iron Fist as well. Uh, but um, yeah, I think that you know because Jessica Jones was so close to Daredevil, I mean in that you know time frame that uh, I, I wish we had more Jessica Jones, um, and uh, I think she might have been pretty redundant to the team because like she all she has is actually just like super strength which is more or less of Luke Cage but also Luke Cage is bulletproof so I mean yeah why not um I guess the twist the ending the end twist I'm just like yeah I I definitely knew I'm like yeah Marvel is not gonna kill off Daredevil just because you know it's just it's just not feasible to kill one of your heroes I'm just like yeah he's gonna come back like either way uh, but Elektra I'm not sure whether she's gonna come back or not because they've already done that the whole bringing back thing and even in Arrow I said like you know I, I wish we don't we didn't really see much of the Lazarus pit and more of like okay when when an important person dies you go to the Lazarus pit they get resurrected fine but we don't really need to see it over and over and again and I think they, they, they did it so oversaturatedly that they were finally just like yeah I think it's time to kill off the Lazarus pit uh, but my friend said there's more than one so I don't know I, I stopped watching Arrow so there you go um, I think I'm going to stop Flash. It's, it's getting really boring. Um, and I think for me, you know, the Defenders was just very, very mild. It wasn't really exciting. You know, I didn't get really excited. Uh, sure, there was Man Munga, which I kind of was already excited for in uh, Iron Fist. I was like, yes, we can see Man Munga again. But by God, Iron Fist was so boring. Um, the the person who played War didn't come back. I'm just like, well, <laughs> there you have it. The person who's uh, practically like his brother kind of didn't come back. So that's how bad the Iron Fist was, and you know it didn't live up to its uh, reputation or its hype, at least. Um, there's nothing much else. You can just piece all the puzzles together easily. Uh, Electra is the black sky, but you know, they try. Uh, Daredevil at least, you know, tries to convince her that she's not the black sky. She's Electra Nachos, which 
is kind of weird name but i guess it's common books what are you gonna do um and um what else the the japanese guy was really interesting i know we we've seen him in the yakuza in the the second season of daredevil and uh i think it, but he was in um iron fist as well i'm not really sure uh but alexandra i, I feel she is pretty new uh, but she is the leader of the, the hand um, and uh, yeah I think that there, there is not really much memorable scenes except for like Misty trying to piece everything together and like kind of trying to say you know we need to be informed as well so that we can work together and uh, the defender is kind of saying nah we don't want you know civilians to be heard and you know we don't really want the law in this because you know they they have so much much red tape that they have to go get over uh that is not necessary at all um and uh, it's very a simplistic story actually and i wish you know it wasn't so disjointed because you can definitely see the 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 transitions that they're trying to do and they actually did it nicely during the last like few episodes but during the first few i'm just like yeah i can tell these are just like ripped from different like series and they don't really mesh together but in the middle like the the episode as soon as you get to like episode five and six then you can definitely say okay now that they're in the same area it, it kind of gels well which i kind of thought they should have done from episode one you know make them get together maybe do a, like a little flashback you know something like that but they didn't really do that so i'm just like yeah um the fight sequences were pretty good i i, I didn't feel as much as i did in, in daredevil maybe because i've seen those fight sequences already uh iron fists you know skills were pretty good i think he, he you know the, the choreography definitely kind of tried to step up but you know it, it, they didn't have room to kind of show off the the choreography and everything um i definitely think there's like foggy and uh, karen were really needed in this you know foggy most likely was just more of the kicker and that you know yeah you gotta get back in there and like save the world as well because you know you have all these other people that can work with you why not take the chance um and yeah that's about it uh, i don't really remember much else um i you know main questions i have is from daredevil and everything but they kind of explained it in season two you know fisk is still in jail i hope he gets out soon and we can see what happens next I was presumed dead, but I doubt it because, you know, um, Murdoch survived, so I'm just like, yeah, I think Gao would have as well, and I think Elektra as well. Uh, Stick is definitely dead because we saw the um, uh, knife in his heart, but they could, you know, do the whole Black Sky thing and, you know, bring him back. Uh, and I thought the, the kind of, like, betrayal was a little nice layer to kind of pull us out and you know maybe think oh maybe stick is working for the hand but i i already knew i'm just like nah he's he is you know doing whatever he thinks is best but is not um and uh i think if i were to do this like a proper review and give it a rating i would just give it a a 6.5 it, it, it's it's barely able to to carry itself i think it's it's really hard to get through some of the the dialogue seeds and you know you just want them to 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 fight crime together already and you know solve it together and you know stop you know arguing i think what mar like the marvel series tend to fall back on is the arguments and the the like try they try to really ham it up with the drama and they're like no no just just go on move on you know do the do the daredevil thing you know keep your enemies you know like relatable but also kind of shadowy and then you know get to the end uh but maybe if i watch daredevil again i i might say it differently because this definitely i felt the 
the wear in season two because you can feel they're a little bit slower because they want to you know make more of it uh you know diversify the the plot and, and that's where it can kind of crash in because it's a series you know it's it's not a movie um yeah that's about it that that's season one for you I don't think I'll watch season two, but maybe cause just to see how Murdoch go gets back in there. You know how he trains. Maybe he has PTSD. Maybe we'll see it more of Electra in his you know flashbacks, whatever. Um, and uh, I don't I don't hope to see Karen again. Cause it's actually the thing about it is like the love interests who are actually love interests can be a bit bitchy as as expected i mean like you know as shown in like the dc series you know felicity smoke became very bitchy and became the most despicable character in uh tv series history i still despise her i don't care what anybody else says fuck felicity Okay, this whole season, the whole season four was just because of her, and she, she, they fucked it up by saying, "Oh no, she, she doesn't want to be with him anymore." Then there's no reason for season four. Stop it. Stop the season four right there. Just like end. I don't care. Um, but yeah, whatever. That's Arrow though. Uh, this is the Defenders. I I think they really did a good job of trying to have a cliffhanger there and trying to pull in the the, the characters in. Um, I think that, you know, Iron Fist is kind of whiny, you know, he can be a little grating on you, because he's always like, I am the immortal Iron Fist, I want to do this, I am, blah, 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 I'm in the right, you don't know what's going on, blah, 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 I killed the dragon, blah, 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 and, yeah, it, it, it really is more of a trying to extend the Iron Fist story, really, and uh, I thought that was, it was nice to kind of, pull it back with the whole daredevil thing because he's fought the hand as well i thought that was a really nice idea I, that's what i thought they were going to go with because i was just like yeah of course they're gonna go with the iron fist story first because you know it's still fresh in our minds and then maybe pull it back with uh the daredevil because you know daredevils fought the hand before so i don't know that was just my idea but maybe it's not good enough whatever uh, i'm not a i'm not a like a, I'm not a real writer, I just write in my own time and just give you guys what my thoughts are in my writing. And if you want to see my writing and work, you can go to creators.co slash at redlaw 782 You can see a new post that I made of a Cafe Society actually. Watch that and I reviewed that. I didn't really think of doing a, a video one because I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to do one because. I already did the uh, the written review and um, I think I didn't hate it as, as much when I double thought about it because I was like yeah there's a lot of cliches in that but I'm willing to give in to that um, so yeah the defenders I think you know is is very much the a a call a good callback to the other three series uh, Daredevil. Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, Iron Fist, not so much. So, those are my thoughts. If you agree, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and uh, remember to like as well and uh, hit the bell to be notified for future videos coming up. Okay, I got more uh, Breaking Bad coming. I uh, got a sketch plan for next week. It's coming. Don't worry about it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. See you then.